Hi, my name is Mia and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to yet another video about what it's like living here in Roda, Spain. And as you can already tell by the title of this video, today will be all about where to live if you PCS here to Roda, Spain. I will go into the main cities that people look into living. I will compare base housing to off-base housing and yeah, just try to yeah, make it easier on you to decide where you might want to live. So yeah, without further ado, let me get right into it. So the cities that we're going to be looking at today are going to be Roda, El Puerto, and Chipiona and the Costa Ballena area because those are kind of the main places where people tend to move to and then of course like I said base housing as well. I won't mention Perez or San Luca because those are further away and much less typical for people to live in so yeah. First of all let me compare on base housing to off base housing. Now <laughs> I think the first thing that you will notice just off of looks is that on base you will get much more of an American feel to the neighborhood. It looks pretty suburban, like a typical American suburb, but with Spanish architecture, which makes for a really cool and interesting mix. You have your wide streets, all the same houses, um, everything looks uniform and pretty. They're all duplexes and single story houses. So that's what you're looking at. They all have a pretty big garden as well. The only thing as of right now at least is that base housing is pretty limited. There's already just a limited amount of houses available on base. And then as of right now, there's like a third of them under construction. So yeah, that really cuts down the available spots for you. So it might get, it might be a bit hard for you to get into base housing. So just keep that in mind. And then of course, families get priority for base housing. It's definitely not impossible to get into base housing, but you might have to live off base for a while until a house on base becomes available to you. But you can have them put your name on a list and get that process started for sure. Then, of course, on base, you're gonna have mostly American outlets, so you can bring all of your appliances from the States and plug them in, no problem. While off base, you might want to look into purchasing some adapters and renting some transformers for some of your appliances or have to buy new ones entirely. So again, just something to keep in mind. Um, base housing is obviously more tailored to Americans. Then in terms of like amenities that you have on base in base housing, the biggest thing you'll notice is that you have the elementary, middle and high school. They're all in the same structure and they are right in the middle of base housing so if you have kids in like school age then that's a good thing to know and it will definitely be a nice thing to to be living on base and just have your kid walk or ride their bike to school because it's right there other than that you're looking at the base pool that is available there and like a little fast food restaurant as well they just serve like burgers and fries that kind of deal some some nachos and just yeah finger food fast food right next to the base pool and then base has its own little beach so I'm definitely less crowded over there you will obviously be living amongst Americans and the only people that have access to that beach are US military and Spanish military so yeah that is definitely different from off base as you can see I'm sitting on the beach right now right now is a weekday early in the morning so not that busy it's also not holiday season at the moment so yeah definitely nice empty beaches but you will obviously have to share those with the Spanish locals and with all the tourists that come in the summer and let me tell you there's a lot of tourists coming in the summer Rhoda doubles or triples or even quadruples in terms of um, people living here in the summer months so it is a very very noticeable change while on base you definitely will not have that issue but now let's talk more about the off-base amenities. Obviously the houses off-base vary greatly. There's no like uniform standard housing like you have on-base. You will find many different types of structures, houses, apartments, that single story, two story, three, four story, you name it. It's basically endless here what you can find. So yeah, you can definitely find whatever works 
best for you and your family. And other than that, off base is much more densely populated. So all of the buildings are gonna be much closer together. You're gonna live amongst a lot more people and obviously a lot more local Spaniards as well. So you will definitely feel the culture much more off base than you will on base. And other than that, you can pretty much find anything off base. You have grocery stores, veterinarians, hospitals, boutiques, butcheries, <laughs> you name it. Like um, you can find pretty much anything off base. And because these cities are so, so walkable, you can just walk to the grocery store and anywhere you need to go. If you want to get somewhere faster than ride a bike, but parking spots are very limited here in the city. So a car is most likely not gonna be your first choice if you live off base versus on base there's a lot more space also base housing is pretty far away from the um, main area of the base so you will pretty much be further away from the next the commissary the library the gym the hospital all of that than you would be if you were to live in Rota now this obviously only applies to Rota because the other cities at Puerto and Chipiona are further away so you're looking at about the same if not a longer distance from the main area of base than you would be from base housing. Now, base housing and El Puerto are both pretty much only connected to the main area of base by highways, so a car is gonna be your best option there, while both Roda and Chipiona and also the, um, the Costa Bellina area are pretty walkable and bikeable because you have much quieter streets you have some nature paths that you can take as well so definitely a lot more variety and a lot more opportunity to leave your car at home if you live in those areas then of course the further away from base you get the more spanish it will get so while in the city of rota you have a lot of americans that live here and you will encounter them day to day when you leave your house um, when you live in chipiona or in at Puerto, you're pretty much going to be surrounded by Spaniards most of the time and it's pretty hard to encounter another American there. So yeah, again, depends on what you're looking for. If you want to immerse yourself more into the Spanish culture, then looking for a place further from base is definitely a good option for you. Now, Costa Ballena is pretty unique because it is nothing like Chipiona and it is nothing like Rota and nothing like base housing. Costa Ballena is pretty much a vacation town, little vacation area. There's lots of golf courses, lots of hotels, lots of apartments that are empty for most of the year and people only come there for the summer months um, to spend their vacation days. So definitely a different kind of feeling to that area. And in Costa Ballena it's mostly apartments, while in El Puerto and in Chipiona you'll find a lot more houses. In Rota you have a pretty good mix, but also mostly apartment buildings. All right, <laughs> um, next up, I already kind of touched on this. The commissary is pretty far away from the from base housing and um, definitely a lot closer from anywhere in Rota. But um, the commissary is going to be a lot more expensive than if you were to get your groceries off base. So again, something to keep in mind if you live off base you might want to get most of your groceries off base as well just because they are much much cheaper the commissary is still great though because you can definitely find all of your american treats that you wouldn't find otherwise in this country yeah another thing to keep in mind is the oha so if you live on base obviously they will take your entire oha and your entire utility money you will pretty much never see that and they will just take it all for themselves because you will be living in their house using their electricity, their water, their gas. While off base, they will also take your entire OHA bill because you will only receive as much OHA as you spend on rent. But you do get um, a certain amount of money for your utilities. And if you're like us, then you can definitely pocket some of that money. If you've missed my cost of living video, I'll link it for you down below. But my husband and I, we do our best to conserve water and electricity as much as we can. So our bills are very, very low and we manage to pocket a lot of that utility money, which is nice. Extra money is always good. So again, something to keep in mind. If you want to make use of any services, be that uh, getting 
a house cleaner or a babysitter or a dog sitter, um, what you got to keep in mind if you live on base, then you can obviously only get people to clean dog sit, babysit for you if they have base access. And while off base, you can pretty much hire anyone there. So you will be much less limited in your choices. And yeah, other than that, base housing and off base housing doesn't differ too much. You'll have the same issues with architecture, the same issues with critters. There's lots of ants and cockroaches around, both on base and off. Houses here are very poorly insulated, so um, be prepared for summers to get really hot and winters to get really, really cold. And um, yeah, a lot of the houses are older, so things break a lot. Just something to keep in mind again. Um, of course, one thing I forgot to mention, on base might be easier for you to communicate because you will be communicating all your issues in English while off base some landlords have some trouble speaking English but with all the technology we have these days it's definitely not an issue you can just google translate whatever you need to convey to them so yeah that is all I have for you today I hope I made it a bit easier on you to get a first idea of what you're going to be looking at when you PCS here to Rota Spain if this video was helpful to you, then make sure to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.